Hello everyone, welcome back to the IVS YouTube channel and today we are going to dive into the fascinating world of the Gen AI. In this video, we are going to cover how Gen AI models work and what are their capabilities. You might be heard about what is generative AI and you might be know what is a Google Bard and what is a ChatGPT. These models have sparked a lot of curiosity among the people, but they can also be confusing when we talk about the Gen AI. So when I talk about the generative AI, many people think assume like it's a magical of models that write a human-like language, such as ChatGTP 3.5 or 4 model, and if you know about the Gemini, which is from the Google. These models were popular and they were different approach and their architect. In this video, I will be provide a clear and simple explanation what the real life example to help you to understand what is genetics, generative AI is all about. So let's get started. So generative AI fall under a broader category of the artificial intelligence known as a machine learning. You might be already familiar with the machine learning where computer learn perform tasks without being a exploitative program. There are two main types of machine learning which is supervised machine learning and the unsupervised machine learning. Supervised machine learning is involved training models on the labeled data to make a prediction or a classification. On the other hand, we have unsupervised machine learning deal with the finding the pattern on the structures in unlabeled data. Now let's talk about the generative AI. In generative AI, there are two main types of model. One is the discriminative model and another is the generative models. So discriminative models are focused on the distinguish between the categories or classes. While generative models are focused on generating on the new data. Now let's example, uh, let's say we have a generative model trained on the cat images or let's say dog images. With when given a new output, search on the description of a cat, what the cat's like, what's the uh, favorite food of the cat, the this ability to create new content when it's said to be generative AI model apart. Now let's discuss the some real life example of the generative AI. So this model can be used for the image generations, text analysis, and we have a video generation and etc. Companies are leveraging the Genity app nowadays for the various tasks such as the content creations, data argumentations, data sentiment and analysis, even the generating the personalized recommendations. Now if you look at the corporates, they are have heavily using to converting to the shifting to the Gen AI because they are having different problem now the gen ai can solve their problem by using this large llm models so generative ai have been involved over time some architecture more complex like gpt4 or uh, gemini these models are trained on vast amount of data to can generate diverse on a high quality content so in this conclusion the ai holds a really good emotions in the uh, in innovations and the creativity by understanding these models so let's we like explore this various field. So in the upcoming week, we are going to launch a bootcamp based on the chain and where we have a, a top faculty discussing what is a genetic AI and how you can come, uh, how you can implement the genia into this work. In upcoming two or three years, this genia will be changed differently in the corporates in the real life example. So you must know what is a gen AI and how to you implement gen ai into this work so if you want to know about the gen ai and the machine learning you can check out this follow link in the bio to check the description and the website page where we have a different course on the machine learning and gen ai and the data engineering courses so i hope you found this video very useful and if you need more content on the data science and uh, don't forget to comment down the below and don't forget to hit on uh, hit on the icon button and stay updated, uh, updated on the latest video thanks everyone for the watch